To create a shipment, start by navigating to the Shipments tab in the lower panel. This will take you to the Shipments dashboard. Next, go to the top left of the screen and click Create Shipment. You'll be prompted to select a shipment profile. If you don't have one, don't worry, we'll cover how to create and apply a shipment profile later in this video. Simply click Next to proceed. The shipment wizard will now open. Here, you can name your shipment. Set the origin by giving it a name and selecting the address. Next, set the destination by giving it a name and selecting the address. Note the colored radius. This can be adjusted using the boundary slider above. When the logger reaches this zone and transmits its first reading inside the zone, users will receive an alert notifying them that their shipment has arrived. More on this later in the video. Lastly, set your estimated journey length and transmission intervals. Note, the larger the duration between transmission intervals, the longer the estimated journey will automatically be. When you're ready, click Next. The shipment wizard will now prompt you to add your logger's serial number to the shipment. Once inputted, his will automatically bring up the logger configuration pop-up, where you can set a profile for your connected logger. First give the profile a name. Next set the lower and upper temperature thresholds, along with enabling the humidity, light and shock sensor alarms. Next configure a recording delay, from when the start button was pressed on the logger. Lastly, you can set additional logger-specific features and alarm settings. Once you're ready, select Save. This will take you to your final shipment overview. Before creating the shipment, you can edit your notification preferences. Firstly select, Edit Notifications. Next you can select your primary, secondary and emergency contacts within the wizard. As well as set the type of alert they get notified for. When you are happy with your selection, click, Create Shipment, to complete setting up the shipment. A successful shipment creation will display the shipment in the shipment status panel below the map. You can now start your LT5GEO. If you've already started your logger using the button, your readings will soon appear in the shipment. Shipment profiles let users effortlessly set up recurring shipments, eliminating the need to manually recreate the same shipment parameters every time. To create a shipment, start by selecting Shipment Profiles. This will open the Shipment Profile Wizard. Let's start by giving the profile a name. Next, enter the estimated journey length. Next, let's enable the sensor alarms. In the logger configuration wizard that popped up, enter a name. Next, set the lower and upper thresholds. And enable your desired sensors, including humidity, light, and shock. Next, you can set a record delay, which determines how long the logger waits before starting to record data after activation. You can also enable alarm and logger behaviors below. When you are done, click Save. Next, let's assign a name and address to the origin shipment area. And we will repeat the process for the destination shipment area. The boundary slider allows you to adjust the radius around the origin and destination areas. When the logger enters this defined zone and transmits data, the system can trigger alerts to notify users that the shipment has arrived. A larger boundary provides more flexibility in detecting arrivals, while a smaller boundary ensures more precise location-based alerts. Next, we are going to set the notification settings for this shipment profile. Here, you can choose how notifications will be sent, whether by email or SMS, and specify who should receive them. On the side panel, you can manage your contact list by designating primary, secondary, and emergency contacts. You can have multiple secondary and emergency contacts to ensure the right people are alerted when necessary. When you are satisfied with your shipment profile, select Save to store the profile. This will take you back to the shipment dashboard overview. To apply the shipment profile we created, navigate to the top of the screen and select Create Shipment. This will open the Shipment Profile Wizard. From the drop-down menu, select the profile you just created. 
The wizard will automatically open and populate the shipment wizard with the saved profile settings. To proceed, click Next. You will be prompted to enter your logger or multiple logger serial numbers that you'd like the profile to be configured to. Once the serial numbers have been entered, the device's configuration will automatically be applied, including the temperature, humidity, light, and shock parameters. If you want to edit your shipment's configuration, select the Configuration button. To adjust notification settings, select the Edit Notifications button. If you are happy with your shipment, click Create Shipment to finalize your shipment creation. Your shipment will now be ready for monitoring in the Shipment Status Overview. To complete your shipment, simply select the shipment you would like to complete from the shipments panel below. This will bring up the shipment info tab. From here, navigate to the top left of the screen and select complete shipment. Next, a logger status screen will populate, asking if you are sure you want to complete the shipment. If you are happy to proceed, select yes. The shipments table below shows the status of all active shipments. The status column indicates if a logger goes outside its set recording parameters and triggers an alarm, with an icon appearing here. The shipment name column displays the assigned name of each shipment. The serial number column lists the serial numbers allocated to the shipment in that row. The activity column outlines the current status of a shipment. Lastly, the status panel provides details on the origin and destination, along with the start and end dates. To view your shipment, including the map view and details of any outlined excursions, click on your desired shipment row. This will take you to the Shipment Info tab, where you can view the alarm status of each logger in your shipment, along with its serial number and respective model number. The Map tab allows you to view the shipment's location in a map format. The side panel allows users to quickly select filters to view insights on their logger's status. You can start by viewing the logger's last known location, indicated with a pin or logger icon. Next, you can select the triggers on the side panel to see where on the map they occurred. This will also provide a breakdown of the readings when the excursion happened. Below, a sensor graph also displays the sensor readings during this time period. Lastly, click and drag the timeline in the chart below to zoom in on the timeline and map view. To zoom back out, double-click. The Report tab provides a summary of the environmental readings recorded during the trip. It is indexed sequentially from the first reading to the most recent. Any environmental excursions are highlighted in red, allowing you to trace the date, time, and location where the excursion occurred. You can export all this data by clicking the Export button above. To generate a Shipment Summary Report, select the Shipment Summary tab. The Logger Report provides a trip format statistical summary of environmental data for the selected date and time range. It also allows you to preview or download the report as a PDF. Lastly selecting the Chart tab will display an interactive temperature chart for the logger attached to the shipment. This chart can also be exported as a CSV by selecting the Export button above. For more information about LogTag Online, visit our website at logtag.com and navigate to the LogTag Online webpage, where you can find training resources, tutorials, and helpful tips.